Hello friends, I'm Mrs. Ramdas and I'm an art teacher at the Draper One campus at APA. Today we are going to draw artwork inspired by an artist called Henry Rousseau. He was a French artist who was born into poverty and he worked as a toll collector. He started painting only in his 40s and he was not an artist by training. He was a self-taught artist. Although he is now considered as one of the greatest artists of his era, but during his times, he was ridiculed as being very naive or a primitive painter. But he had such a strong impulse to paint that he made art anyway. And today his paintings hang in museums all over the world. His most famous works are those of that of a jungle series. Today, we look at a painting which is called Tiger in a Tropical Storm or Surprised as it's called. Notice how the tiger looks quite surprised and does not look very realistic. And the jungle itself has all kinds of tall plants like big exaggerated drawings of plants. He claimed that it was during his trips to Mexico that he saw the animals and the forest and he painted them. But tigers are animals that are native of Asia and they are found in Russia and South Asian countries. And it is also believed that Rousseau never really left Paris and it was inspired, all his drawings and paintings were inspired from books and from visits to botanical gardens in Paris. Now, it doesn't matter what he was inspired from. He had a habit of exaggerating in his work and these qualities make his art look more interesting and more fantasy-like. We draw Rousseau's tiger, okay? And I have two versions for you guys. The one that we saw in the picture where um, Rousseau's drawing of tropical, uh, in the tropical storm, we saw that uh, the tiger looked a little bit surprised himself. So kind of like that. So I have one expression with the eyes going like this and we change it up slightly in this one where the tiger looks a little slightly different than the other one that I just showed you. Okay, so we will do both of them and you can decide which one you want. So I'll show you which one we're doing. And then when you get to the kind that you want, the expression that you want, you draw that part, okay? And then we'll switch. The rest of the things are going to be the same. So it'll be just the eye portion right here that's going to be slightly different in both the versions. Kind of like that, yeah. Okay, so let's start with this one. I'm going to take a paper and a Sharpie. You can use a pencil, a marker, or even um, any kind of pen that you have with you that you want to draw with, and that is fine. So let's get started. The first thing is, before we start a project, we always plan where to start. The first mark is so important that we have to first decide where we draw and how big this is going to be. Now, if you look at the tiger, uh, it's surrounded by all these leaves and the tiger is in the center. We have the foreground, which is the front, right here. In the middle is the tiger and then we have some in the back, which is going to be our background. Okay, so um, we are going to start with the tiger and we are going to start with the center. We always start from the center and work outwards so that we have enough space to expand our project. And we have, um, you know, like space it and... Uh, draw it so that it fits inside. So I'm going to start with the nose and if you look at the paper It's kind of right about the center of the paper the middle. Okay, so we go to my paper and I'm keeping it landscape style um, Sideways and let's start here in the center We're going to start here and I'm going to go a little bit lower just right here This is kind of the middle and I'm going to start with a straight line and I'm not drawing really small it's kind of medium sized I'm not making like really big lines using my elbow but I am using my wrist not just the finger joints okay so the next thing we are doing is I'm going to curve it slightly on both sides okay and we're going to make kind of like a triangle so I'm using not super straight lines 
but slightly curved. It's not very curved, but just lightly. Then, so that's going to be the nose. Now we are going to make the mouth portion of it. And this is what we're doing. We're making curved lines going down and I'm going to curve it out and just leave it right there. And I want you to see, look at this. I curve down, I go to the opposite side. We are almost making it symmetrical, as symmetrical as we can, okay? Now, I want you guys to look at this line. It's much wider than where the nose started off. See that? We need to make it wider. And then we're going to curve this up. And from here, from the top of the nose, I'm going to curve it like this and join. Now on this side, I'm just going to curve a little bit and we'll take care of the rest of it later. Not right now because we are going to cover uh, the tiger's face with a lot of leaves. Okay, so it's going to be coming from all the sides and we will plan on getting to that later. Now let's do the jaw. It's kind of like a square-ish jaw. So I make this curved line going up like this. Okay. And then right here, we make some tiny dots. You can even make it kind of going like stripes because they have so many stripes on their body. They do also have some right there. This is where the whiskers are going to be. Okay. All right. So let's see. Now for the nose. Remember where we had started this? That's where we are going to make the straight line go up like that like this okay and now for the eye we are going to make um two of them right so i am going to pause okay so i have two papers i'm going to show you both of them so the first eye we are going to start right here at the top of the nose and we're going to curve it. Now, I want you to plan it first before you start making that line. So look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to move it out like this, okay? Not down. I'm going to curve it out this way on both sides. So we're going to curve this out. And then the same thing on this side, I curve it out. I leave enough space. You see how wide that is? Because our eye needs space in there to fit, okay? So here is curved line and I'm going to make another curved line right under that. Leave a little bit of space. Now you go to the opposite side and I want to do those lines first before we go to the inside. Okay. Now inside right here, we are going to do pretty big circle joining right here in this corner see that corner that's where i start and i almost touch this one like this okay and then we make a another circle right inside that another circle and in this circle i'm going to make a curved line right here on this side on the right side a curved line and then you can fill this side in only, just the left side, one of the sides. We always, uh, when we make eyes, we always leave that white spot for that light reflecting, okay? Look, makes it look much more expressive. Okay, for, now for the second kind of um, eye, the look that we have, I'm gonna keep this right here so you guys can see this, okay? So this is what we do. We did our nose and the mouth and then what you want to do is right here where the top of that nose we're going to make a big circle just like that and on this side a big circle now if you made your circle big enough then you can draw inside or if you made it small you can draw it around so that it's not too small now we make the second circle, same thing on the left eye and then we are going to make another circle. So three circles. Now in the, uh, the very 
the circle which, which is in the center. You make a curved line this way. Okay. And then you color in the rest. Okay. So fill in the rest of the circle like that. Okay. And then we are pretty much ready to go. The only thing that I would add here, which is different than the other one, would be the eyebrows. And that is going this way. Okay. Slightly different. So I'm going to make a line going this way and a line going that way. And then guess what? Zigzag. Yep. <laughs> I love doing that. It's so fun. Zigzag. Okay. And then for the stripes on the forehead, you draw a line going this way and this way. And then one, two. And then you do the same thing. Your stripes using zigzag. This is fun to do with markers. And then you do the same remaining portion. Now my tiger looks like I started it a little bit too high on the second one. So it doesn't have much space right there. And that's not a problem because you know what? That is okay. So maybe the tiger is a little bit higher up and you won't be able to see all of his ear, but that's fine. We can still draw the rest of it and the jungle around it. Okay, so you can choose whichever one you want to make. Now going back to this one where we left off. Okay, so now friends, I'm going to turn my paper just a little bit like this so you guys can see. We're going to curve this up and up. And I'm going to curve it slightly a little bit more. Okay, now. We are going to go to the forehead of the tiger and we are going to add some uh, stripes right here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, uh, we are going to draw lines just showing where those stripes are going to be. It doesn't look like anything yet, but just wait for it. Trust me. Okay. Kind of like branches, right? Okay. Now here's what we do. Because I'm using a Sharpie and it's kind of thick already, I'm able to do my stripes like this. We're going to do zigzag. Okay, and go to this side and you do the same thing. Zigzag. This is so fun. Zigzags. A lot of zigzags and you can have fun with this. And I try not to make it super neat because tiger's stripes on their fur, um, it's not like a single thin line, okay? So we are going to, uh, we have our stripes for now. And then I'm going to go right here, make a curved line. And on this side, and on this side, I make a straight line going this way and a straight line going this way. We are going to do the ear. Now we did a straight line first and then we are going to do a curved line. A curved line. It's getting there. Okay, so now you make the, uh, trace the shape inside just like so. Leave a little space so that we can color. And then right here you can add a few, a few lines. Okay, because that portion remains black and white, so we draw this. Now, on this side, I want you to just make a little line like this and maybe a tiny bit here. Okay, and that's pretty much it with our tiger for now. Oh, well, we have one more thing. Um, let's make some stripes on this side too. So, some more zigzags for us to have fun with. Now, I want to plan how, where I want the stripe to go. So with my tiger, I want it to go like this. One and maybe two like that. So I am drawing a dotted line. Maybe right there and in this one too. So I'm going to turn my paper so I can, oops. Okay, we can add more stripes later if we feel like, you know, we need to. All right, so now 
because the tiger is in the jungle now we need to start adding those exaggerated leaves that we saw in um, the video okay earlier um, what Russo did was he made all these long big leaves to fill up um, to make it look more fantasy like and we are going to do that we are going to kind of use that style right and you can do so many different kinds of leaves now I am going to have a picture of this you can even pause right here and think about which one you want to do and which all like you won't just use one because it's jungle and we'll have all kinds of plants in so many different shapes and sizes and some of them I've drawn really small but you can make them bigger and more exaggerated so that um, it looks like Russo's kind of leaves. You can pause right here and practice a few of these or copy them um, onto your paper. And I'm going to start a few right here. I'm going to make, the first one I want to do is like a snake plant. See this curved line? So I start at the bottom because our um, drawing is not complete. It's not all the leaves are fitting fully in our paper. Okay, so we are going to start from the very end of the paper. And then these are really fun and simple to make. You are just tracing the same shape again. See that? And you have a few of them at a time. So I'm going to make another one going this way. And they have two colors. You probably have seen them somewhere. These are even, you know, household plants. People keep them indoors. So I'm tracing that shape just like that. And maybe I want to make one more going here. And we're going to fill up this entire jungle with lots of plants, lots of leaves and trees. It's almost, almost. So you know what? I'm just going to draw one more line. So it looks like the entire corner is filled up with this kind of leaves. Um, the next one that I want to do is I want to make some nice big leaves going this way. Mm, it's going almost to the tiger's face. Okay. So you make this... Um, the vein in the center of the leaf pointed at the very tip and then you curve it down now this is what I like to do with this kind of leaf watch this dotted curved line I'm not doing it with one single stroke I make dotted curved line like this okay and then you can make like a V shape curved line inside that makes it look fancy huh okay and then we want to add the veins that go across and then we just one doesn't look quite nice so we're going to do a few more maybe I'm going to make one going this way and it's going to be almost cut off on the side of the paper and that's okay because that's what you don't want to try and fit in your drawing into your paper. You want to draw how it looks like. And then there are some portions that are cut off and that is totally fine. So we're drawing these veins like here. And I want to have one more. Mm, maybe there's one peeking from right here. Curve it down a little bit and then the V shape. Yeah, it looks like a jungle. Okay, now I want to add some of these um, palm tree kind of um, leaves that starts in the center. So you want to see again with our drawing, we start in the center and then we're going to spread it upwards. Okay, so this is what we'll do. Um, maybe just one right here okay and then one go to the opposite side it's covering his face a little bit and that's okay we're going to spread 
for the tag like this. Maybe the tag we're using the current so we can't we we'll hide those leaves a little bit. And I'm going to make these bigger so it's kind of disappearing behind this. Okay. These are spreading out like all the way. And I'm going to just fix those points there. And maybe we have some other kind of leaves that are growing from behind there, overlapping. Just so we, it looks like a jungle and we are filling it with a lot of different leaves. Okay. Now on this side, right here, let's add, I want a leaf that's coming all the way maybe there's a tree right here and there are some other leaves that are tall and big that are growing like okay so I'm gonna leave this for you guys to finish up you can make whatever kind of leaves that you want to do and you're going to fill up this entire space. There's only one thing that I want to add in here for you guys. See how we did those lines here for the um, ear? We're going to do the same thing a little bit right here because the beard for the tiger, it's kind of black and white. Like there's a white area right here under the chin like this. So if we make those lines and then we leave it, we don't even need to color that in because it's going to be white, okay? So that's why I make those small, tiny, scuffy um, black lines with our Sharpie. And then you're going to fill up this entire area. Remember, the tiger is peeking through the leaves, okay? So you're going to fill that up and then you can color this with pretty much whatever you want to use. Now, um, you can pause on the picture in the video and then you can look at uh, some of the examples what I, oh i forgot to tell you guys you can even add flowers anything right anything that you want to add so you can do some flowers as well and i made all these big long leaves they're nice and fun to color as well um i use different kinds of greens whatever greens i have you can use a crayon you can marker i use some crayons i use markers and i use colored pencils prisma sticks everything whatever i had because i wanted different colors and I mixed them up and used different colors for different kinds of leaves. Uh, you can even use some yellows in there, like mix the yellows and the greens. Now the tiger itself, the eye is um, kind of like a greenish, yellow green, gold green kind of a color. Now I did not want to do the gold, so I just did a green around the center, which we colored in with black. And then the rest of it, you just leave it as is. And you color the body of the tiger's head with uh, whatever color you want. If you don't want to color or if you don't have the colors at home, that is totally fine too, friends. Because it's just for you guys to have fun and, and to learn how to make this uh, kind of a drawing. So I hope you guys have so much fun with this. And I hope you color and enjoy your art.